This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I transfer files from one project to another? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have Lightbox open here at the top. And the question is asking about transferring files from one ZPR or project file to another. So as an example of this, let's say I navigate to the project folder here in Lightbox and then go to the Zizu area. And let's say I want to make a scene and I want to make a scene with say the fox and then the finch. So if I double click the fox here, you'll see this is going to open up this project and I have the Zizu fox here loaded in. And then now let's say I want to add that finch into my scene. So I want the fox and then I want the finch. So if I go back into Lightbox here and I try to load in the Finch, you're going to see I'm going to get this dialog that's going to pop up. That's telling me it's going to close the project I currently have and open up the new one. So I'm just going to click no to this and you'll see that now I have the Finch file. However, I no longer have the Fox. So how can I go by taking files from one project and load them into another one so I can get the Finch and the Fox in the same scene? So to do this, we first just need to load in one project. So I'm going to go back to Lightbox here and load in that fox one more time. And then we need to go to the tool palette over here and then locate the button called Load Tools from Project. What this button will allow you to do, it will allow you to load a secondary project file and then it will take all the tools in the tool palette over here and load those into your current project. So with the fox here loaded in, I now just want to open up that Finch file. So I'm gonna come over here and click Load Tools from Project. This should open up a dialog window. And since the last project I loaded was from that Zizu folder, it should take me right to that folder. And then in here, I just need to locate the Finch file. So the Finch ZSphere's file right here, and that's a ZPR project file. And then I just need to click Open. What ZBrush is going to do, now it's going to take that Finch file and load it into the same project that contains the Fox. So now if I go to the tool palette over here, you can see I have the Fox and then also the Finch. And these are now living in that same ZBrush project file. So now that both these files are loaded into the tool palette over here, I can now append the Finch here into my scene with the Fox. So I can locate the Fox here, go to the sub tool palette. In here I can click append, and then now select the finch, and now I should have the finch and the fox in the same scene. So now let's say I wanna move the finch, so I want him maybe a little bit higher on the back of the fox, so I can come over here and select the finch, make sure I have the eyeball icon for the fox turned on, and then I come up here and select move, scale, or rotate, and then come across the root Z sphere, which should be in the middle here, it has two tones applied to it, and then with that selected, if I hold down control on my keyboard and then click and drag, this will allow me to move the finch. And so now I can put the finch say on the top of the fox's head there. And now I have both these files together in the same scene. So that process again to load tools from one project to another is to first locate the project you wanna load. So let's say I wanna take the demo soldier here, double click to load that in. Now after that project is loaded in, you now just need to go to the tool palette and then click the load tools from project button here. Then navigate to the next project you wanna load files in from. So let's say the demo head here and then click open. And that will now take any of the tools that exist in that other project file and load them into your scene. And then if you wanna append any of those new tools to the current tool, just select the current tool and then use the append option here and select the subtool you want to append, and that will now append that subtool to that tool. As you can see, now I have the demo head and also the demo soldier in that same tool. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.